Good day from Disneyland in California. It's been three years for me and one for you since yeah. we've been. So we're gonna check out what's new, what's changed here. And we're actually starting from Tomorrowland because we got here from the monorail. Something interesting I'm noticing is on the app, if you wanna look at the menus, some restaurants you have to start a mobile order to even check the menu because it looks like most of these restaurants are completely mobile order only. Except all the way here at the end where they do have the standard menu up and you can wait in a line like normal. It looks like they put snow on the castle and a little bit of greenery. Still can't get over how small this castle is. Very excited to check it out at night though. And yeah, the water is very blue as Sarah pointed out. You see around the rocks and stuff over here, all of it. And it's coming from over there in that waterfall. Again, standing here for another moment, I look down and what do you see? Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I feel like that's so hidden. That is an awesome little little Easter egg. We weren't even looking for Hidden Mickeys yet. We literally just got here, but that's one. Walking past the castle, we're actually gonna head over to the Tropical Hideaway because it is one of our favorite places to snack here. Get the bao buns and the pineapple lumpia. Oh, yeah. I do wanna point out that the Tropical Hideaway is one of the places that doesn't have a mobile order option, which makes sense because it's all kind of grab and go. Because remember how they have the buns just there ready to go. It's not like they're really cooking anything. As we enter Adventureland, maybe everybody has finally realized Dole Whip is overrated because there's no line whatsoever. Unless they're all at the Tropical Hideaway. Good news walking into the Tropical Hideaway. Not a big line here either. And there's actually open seating. That's awesome. Another great thing is if you're here for Dole Whip, you can go on the left, but you could skip that line and go to the back if you're only here for the food options. Love how they have the bow stack. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Get the spicy sauce. Uh, yeah. yeah, these lumpias are awesome, so we're getting some of those as well, and we're getting one of each bao bun. We got the vegetable bao, which was always a favorite of mine. Don't know if they changed it, but it looks the same. Chicken lime, which they used to always have. You get the sauce for free if you buy three, but you gotta have it with them. This one's new, the loco moco, what was in it? Ham, uh, egg, beef. Frito. Yeah, and this one gets its own sauce. And then, of course, the cream cheese lumpia with pineapple sauce. Just a quick cutaway here. This is the veggie one. This one is fully loaded. The loco moco is a little bit smaller in size and then the chicken one, not a whole lot in that one. So we'll finish them up and let you know. It's always great at the tropical hideaway because not only do you have Rosita, but you get to see the end of the jungle cruise. All right, which one's your favorite? The loco moco, surprisingly. <laughs> Funny, I didn't even care for that one. Definitely the vegetable, easily the best. They used to have a beef one that they got rid of and swapped with the Locomoco. But between the three, easily the vegetable. And you like the Locomoco, yeah. so pretty definitive. Uh, Lumpia was always awesome though. Oh, yeah. yeah, classic. <laughs> one thing we always wanted to do is over on the Pirate Slayer Island, is that table where you could see the people sitting, there's a chess board. They don't have pieces though, so we always thought it'd be cool to bring our own pieces and play one day. The Haunted Mansion holiday, clocking in a 40 minute wait, not too bad. The ship cannon should be firing shortly. I believe it's just, yeah, it really just <laughs> right up ahead. Fire one. Oh. We're stepping into Galaxy's Edge because we want to check out Rise of the Resistance because I believe it is now just a simple standby queue. And that appears to be the truth because it's all filled up. It's funny because they actually have holiday merchandise here. If anyone's familiar with the Star Wars Holiday Special, something they try to bury in, in recent years has gotten kind of popular. They, they have this merchandise for Star Wars Life Day. Time to do Big Thunder. We just came back to Main Street and there happens to be a parade. Oh yeah, Merida. You never see her. You gotta hold up your hair. <laughs> That's funny, all the princesses are in there.
looking back on Main Street, they've got a nice tree out this year. And you can hear the Dapper Dans over in the corner. Time to go on the train though. Such a cool model, a Lily Bell. This looks like one of the holiday trains they had. Don't know what year. Kind of forgot one of the trains is actually forward facing, whereas all the rest face to the right because everything during the train ride <laughs> is on the right side. I still love at the exit of Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln, not only do you have the great song playing, but for Spirit of Celebration, you've got the king himself from Captain EO. All right, we had to get the classic corn dog. Gotta put the mustard and ketchup on there from the Little Red Wagon. There's a parade going on, but it is the middle of the day in the Starbucks or Main Street Bakery. It's pretty empty. I do like the tree that they have in here though. Pretty cool, very subtle. Time to do the Haunted Mansion Holiday. It says there's a 45 minute wait. Everything is starting to get pretty busy now and Rise of the Resistance is unfortunately closed. The line for Pirates isn't bad at all. It's actually kind of just at the entrance. It said 25 minutes and it's going fast. We say it's probably because there's no lightning lane. Coming off Pirates, you can see outside in the store, meet and greet with Sally and the Weird Jack. That face looks so strange. Christmas version though, so that's cool. I want to point out that to the left of Pirates, Tarzan's treehouse is completely closed and covered in scrim because it is being worked on. At the old Tarzan treehouse, we're looking at the sign and Sarah pointed out maybe they lost the rights because they've always had issues with Tarzan. So it's kind of going back to Swiss Family Robinson. So no longer Tarzan. You can see some of the concept art over here, but this was a conversation we had earlier yeah. about the people mover. And I'm like, they're never ever going to bring the people mover back because it's not an IP. Nowadays, Disney only makes rides if it's already a popular show or movie or a character they can associate with it. Unlike back then, you just had generic rides like the Haunted Mansion, Jungle Cruise, Pirates of the Caribbean. So it's really surprising to see them make this treehouse Swiss Family Robinson, which I guess technically is an IP. But it's such an old thing, nobody knows what it is anymore. I would have could have sworn they would have picked like, I don't know, anything. Lilo and Stitch's treehouse or <laughs> yeah, like some yeah, kind no, of jungle they, movie. They, they, re they reached far back into their yeah. history. To... So looks pretty cool. Yeah. So a little surprised by that. Over in Adventureland, they have this cool section. Disney vans, but it's all Disney World stuff. Kind of weird that they have all that here. Even these shirts. I do like this. It's kind of cool, actually. Big fan of the retro style. It's always great seeing the window displays on Main Street, especially when they all do their transformation scene. Doesn't look like the Frozen one's actually working. The Main Street tree is looking great at night, but we're going to head out of the park to go to Downtown Disney to get something to eat. Walking by the La Brea Bakery in Downtown Disney, just randomly here at this bar, they have a gingerbread village set up. I guess we can just walk in and check it out. That's really cool. It's all actually gingerbread. Went to Splitsville for a quick dinner, heading back into the park on the monorail once again. It's funny walking along and seeing all these frozen treat options. We just so happen to be following one of the beverage carts. As we arrive in Tomorrowland, it's a good time to point out we have been using the pin boards. They are back in action. Maybe it's just me, but the Astro Blasters looks a lot faster tonight. The castle is looking fantastic. They're getting ready for the fireworks show. We'll see if we can do some Fantasyland rides. The Royal Theater at Fantasyland has swing dancing at night. At least they used to. I don't know if they still do it. Stepping in Doc Ondar's in Galaxy's Edge. It has been years since I've been in here and it is still completely packed. They also have a lot of new lightsabers. And you can see the two holocrons over here. Those were a lot of fun. I do want to point out that we joined a queue for Ogus Cantina and it only took about 10 minutes, right? About 10 minutes from when you started? Uh, yeah. That's awesome. So we're headed in now. It's been a long time since being in there. DJ Rex is spazzing out. Got us a good spot here. Two fuzzy tauntauns on the way. And Tonneray wine. I feel like we got the extra fuzzy tauntaun, so. Hey, right, cheers to the ultra fuzzy tauntaun. Oh, what's on my nose? <laughs> 
We also got the fantastic Tonnery Blue Teal Wine. Always delicious, but more importantly, DJ Rex is playing our favorite song. It's now late enough that the Fantasyland ride should not have very long waits, so we're gonna go ahead and try our luck. I haven't been on Snow White since they've changed it. This is different though, isn't it? Yeah. I feel so like it's not it's a lot nicer and not as scary. You got the little doves here and it's all happily lit with Snow White singing. <laughs> Looks like there is literally no one in line at Casey Jr. We just missed the train. Hopefully they have at least two running, so we're gonna go in and take advantage. Take a look at Small World tonight. Kind of difficult to see through the trees though, but it is very lit up. Stepping into the Jolly Holiday to get some dessert because they have some pretty great stuff here. We got the Santa Hat Macaroon. Oh, it's coming apart. Good. It's filled with chocolate, so that's going to be delicious. And a simple chocolate chip cookie. Sarah's getting ready to make a lightsaber, and we're standing by outside. And it's kind of funny because there is nobody else doing this. Granted, it is the last reservation of the night at 11.30. Oh, decisions. Oh, you didn't even hesitate. <laughs> Now you may be wondering, well, where did that person up? I'm very glad you asked. Your notes. This is the center of your lightsaber. The foundation of it all. And for of you, is a tray filled with the parts you have. Here's Sarah's end product. Oh, that one's so cool, though. I think they, I think they used to have a rain cord too, so they changed them over time. Because that is a different. Yeah. Please. <laughs> <laughs> they tested it. You did it. And like that, you too can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spike. Did you have fun making your lightsaber? That's awesome. Yeah, they, they did a really good job, even with just us. We were the only ones in there. They were still getting into it, and it was hilarious because the other two, uh, I guess, cast members, Batuians, were back there talking about things in the room and like making a lot of Star Wars jokes. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, totally worth it, even if it's just you. Um, very fun day, very long day. We did a lot of rides, so always a good time at Disneyland. So that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. The caravan is moving on.